Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Zephyr, where I'm here to take care of this little problem. That's alright. Uh, shout out to Elthwar, who left a comment which uh, informed me that the inhabitants of Zephyr are called land blubbers. It isn't just the bucket things. Which I guess would explain why the bucket things look like the severed heads of the grub guys sitting in a bucket. Uh... Also the, uh, the interesting note, that those guys might have been a reference to the Worms series of games. Which are these, like, little tactical war games where, uh... Everything is bright and cartoony and you're playing as, uh... Every player has their own squad of little cartoon worms with a bunch of weapons. Well, artillery is popular. So I could totally see it being like... I mean, I'm not actually sure if Angry Birds was a thing yet in 1999, but I could see it actually being a reference to those two franchises if they were. And if they weren't, well, I could still see it being a reference to worms, because those guys were around in the 90s. mid-90s. Ah, oh, good. Ah, oh, bad. How am I gonna get that one? I was about to say, ah, oh, good, they all fell off. And then they didn't. Nice air. Ah, I keep having to insert jump cuts because I keep forgetting where I placed my notes. Uh, turns out it was also Miracle Tiger who informed me that, uh, things like the Cowlex go much farther. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'd say that's about the same if you charge them or if you, uh, if you flame them. Actually, if anything, I think the flames drive these ones further. Maybe they changed that for the re-ignited uh, version. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just getting weird jumps in this particular instance, and I'm getting an entirely wrong sense of, uh... No, no, well, that is the trick, but... Okay, these ones are definitely a 3D model. I wasn't sure, but some of the ones back in the uh, hub areas... Okay. Now then, finding the rest of that jar. The rest of that jar. What? Oh yeah, they're out again, so yeah, there's that. Uh, that's an indoor area, that could be in there. Nobody says no door here. Oh. Goodbye. Thatched roof cottages. That looks like the early zone. So I just go back this way. Which is convenient because I left something on purpose in the intro area. You know, since I was skipping ahead in the level until I found the jar. Well, how badass it would have been if I'd gotten it in my first shot. Oh, you're not a gem. Excellent. Not excellent. All right, that particular jump cut was another example of the game alt tabbing. I really have no idea what causes it to do that. Are my keys sticky or something? I haven't touched them. Like if I had just touched uh, alt and then I, I don't know. Uh, yes, good. Uh, isn't that just the guy at the very beginning of the level? Yeah, it's right over there. Excellent! Hell yeah. 
Well then, in that case... I don't understand what Zephyr has to do with the wind. Maybe that's why the Breeze Builders took offense. Or hey, I don't know, maybe they've got a long and storied history of hating each other for no reason. Oh yes, it's up here. I could probably just leave and it would probably be fine. But uh, I want to go through the portal because it's satisfying. I never did figure out what the hell is up with that. That giant ball there. Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, yeah. The Colonel Wait, were you to in here? Talisman to you if you got through the Breeze Builder defenses. Good job, soldier. I mean, I do like that their clothes seem to be made out of garbage because that's very funny to me. There's some other, like, minor changes they've made, too. I read that, uh... I, I looked up which, uh... I had to look up which level had the, uh, the slingshot guys in it. You know, the ones who used to be gunmen. And when I did, I discovered that there's another change in that level. Actually, two of them. Uh, the Flag Keeper was originally named Bombo, not Bob. As near as I can figure out, they just changed that name because, uh... Well, I don't know, because they wanted to put in a reference to the new, uh, developer. You know, Toys for Bob. Although there was also some speculation that, uh... That they were worried it would be offensive somehow? I'm not sure who it would be offensive to. Let's make use of that, uh, ability. Oh, I guess I do just have to go back to Summer Forest, since I never actually went into the Speedway, since I wanted to try those. But yes, the, uh, the cutscene, uh, at the end of, uh, Scorch used to be different. Not enormously different, just slightly different, which is interesting to me. Uh, namely... You know, now it ends with, oh no, uh, Greta and Hondel are being threatened by the goons. And they, like, touch their hands together and unleash a shockwave that knocks everybody else out of the tower. Uh, the original cutscene apparently had them thrust their hands out, and each one of them shoots out a ball of energy that knocks one of the guards out of the tower. And the last shot is of the other guards looking worried. Shout out to Shane Reeves, who, uh... Mentioned that the, uh, the Speedways was one of his favorite parts of the Spyro games, so, uh, watching me be all, eh, about it was, uh, very amusing. Oh, glad I could be of service. Now I just have to remember where the hell it is. And by that, I mean wander around until I stumble into it, because let's be honest, that's what's going to happen. Okay, I missed one. Thank you, Sparks. Can't die if you're shallow enough. God damn it, Brain, that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted to say. It's uh, too shallow. Obliviously. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Huh, I don't remember this. Ah! 
Oh, hey. I thought that was changed back. I think it might be in here, the big indoor area. Is this the right place? No, I'm looking at the wrong spot on the map. My bad. Oh, nice dolphin dive. Or whatever you call that. Ow. Right in the nose, too. You gotta be careful when you hit someone in the nose. Apparently, if you do it in just the right way, you can drive the bones of their nose into their brain and kill them instantly. Aha! Ocean Speedway! Nice work, Spyro! The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway. But if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Why would you be encouraging me not to pay attention to the main mission? You're the one who summoned me here to save the day. Oh, whatever. Let's give this a shot. There's an orb here. You must come in exactly forth while facing backwards. Oh god. It's a flight level. Uh. Oh, up is down and down is up again. Well, so far I'm doing better. I don't think I, uh... Damn it. I don't think I got uh, accomplished one of the goals on my first try in any of the flight levels. For fuck. God damn it, me. Oh, well, doing it without that will probably make it easier, let's say. Oh, right. Okay, I almost completed half of the goals, so that's good. this one first. I know you gotta get all of them, but... Ow. Shit, I probably should've gone after that train guy, then. Ow. I uh, don't understand. Okay, guess I just wasn't doing it soon enough. Alright, not bad. Give that guy the right away. Uh, all in one. Okay, yeah, that is still a thing. Fine, fine, you win. We'll get the rings, since I'm pointing straight at them. Well, I'll say this, at least it isn't fucking racing. Boats! No. Oh boy, this makes feels a lot faster when you're low down for some reason. Those guys are not alive anymore. Don't touch the water, don't touch the water. Well, the audience didn't seem to like that. Oh no! Curses! I 
get all the rings and all the arches before I can even focus on the other things. Although, you know, having been playing a lot of Elden Ring lately, I can say with, uh, with absolute certainty that there are a lot worse things I could have to do over and over again before I actually get the chance to try the thing I'm stuck on. I'm not fighting any goddamn banished knights. Ah, oh, I can't... having such trouble hitting these guys. Hmm. No good! I don't know if the cars would be easier than the boats. I mean, they're right in front of me when I get past all the arches. Huh. No, I still think going directly to the, uh, the rings is the, the right way to start this. Remember a bit of advice from the previous game. That it's easier to catch things that are moving by moving in front of them. Uh, and, uh, you know, going head on. I don't see where those boats are. Fuck! Why can't I hit those things? No! Oh, my organs. Oh, I didn't actually die, I just fell. Well, I'm doing significantly better on this number, whatever number try this is, than I would have been last time. It took me like six tries to get any one goal completed the first time. I don't know if they would have messed with those physics or not. I know they messed with the glide physics in the, you know, main game. I don't know if they messed with this. But again, even if they did that, uh, it's based on the physics engine they shared between uh, Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, so, you know, no excuses here. I should probably burn that guy, but the timing doesn't ever seem to line up exactly right. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, no, 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 touch it, don't touch it, fuck you, oh. fuck you, pink rhinoceros, don't know where that boat is, so I'm gonna get some time here, there you are, oh, I almost hit the charge button to go faster, but that would have just dropped me straight in. No! Ah! Well, at least I got another goal. Oh, boy. Hey, I'm getting better at this. Go me! I try to downplay it in the videos, but people have been telling me for years I'm too hard on myself, so I'm making an effort to be more positive these days, because uh, somehow it finally got through recently. You know, just a casual use of language, things like saying, well, I've been useless tonight if I find myself unable to be productive. Don't hit the wall! Oh, 
Oh, I remember now, the bumpers. One of the bumpers causes you to do a U-turn. And the other one causes you to do a loop-de-loop. -loop. God damn it. I would have to pick wrong. No! I think that's the trick. Get onto the thing and run. Oh, I want to do one more run. Sorry about that, I needed to sneeze. Uh, actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to uh, skip to the run where I win so that I can include it in this video. Jump cut again! is the fourth attempt since the jump got. Cut those corners, get around faster. No fun allowed. Yes! No! Alright, you're a dead man. Burn! No! I would not like to try again. Thank you. Booyah. Feels good. Just did a screenshot there. Huh. Hell yeah. Huh. I sure as hell didn't find a quest for an orb in there. But that will certainly do it for this episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Reignited when we continue with our quest and see what else there is to see in this place. Later!